Another banger. Baby, calm down, calm down. Yo, this somebody he put in my heart for lockdown, for lockdown, oh lockdown. Yo, use real life and down, and down. If I tell you, say I love you, you know they for me and down, oh yeah. Hey guys, I just woke up. So, today's video is gonna be. Um, the first like 10 minutes is gonna be like a get ready with me for volleyball because today we have volleyball practice. So, you guys are gonna see everything I do to prepare. So, I just got I just woke up so I gotta go get in the shower and um brush my teeth and then I'll be back and then you guys are gonna see me do my hair preparing for volleyball um what I wear and what I gotta what I have in my bag for volleyball um everything I take with me and yeah let's get started so you guys are gonna see like what type of hairstyles I do for my hair and what's allowed but yeah we got our cap and thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get into it. Okay, so I really wasn't able to shower because um they're working in the bathroom and they're doing wiring, so too many holes. You like to put that shit in your door. We got our shoes and high rise um socks because um we throw ourselves on the floor duh. and they said we were gonna be doing diving this week so <laughs> you don't wanna burn yourself I did that first practice working all day I like to run the streets to the dark house and come home for your back out I hope that's okay I can't okay so we're gonna break this one and it's gonna be pretty quick because I'm a pretty quick reader. Okay. I'm to where I put this one at. You guys hear the noise? I am so sorry about that. Now they're doing construction work and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm so sorry. I'll be back when they're done with the noise. Okay, I'm back. They're kind of done. With it, kind of. I'm gonna use the Herbal Grow. This. I'm buying. Pretty sure you could get this in Dollar Tree. I'm not sure where mom got it from. Pretty sure you can get it in Dollar Tree. <laughs> in my bag but today's only volleyball so just mind that that's why i don't have so much stuff in my bag because we only got volleyball practice today now my bag is full when we got cheer practice because i gotta switch out of volleyball clothes into another clothes and it's just a lot um sorry cut out but now you got your two braids because the brush was supposed to do the new spray back but that was gonna take too long to today a quick little practice here now i'm gonna do what's in my bag but today's only volleyball so just mind that that's why i don't have so much stuff in my bag because we only got volleyball practice today now my bag is full when we got cheer practice because i gotta switch out of volleyball clothes into another clothes and it's just a lot okay so right now in my bag okay so i got my cold so Back it up. So, in my bag, right here in the first pocket, we got perfume because, like I said, I sweat out in volleyball. Then I have to go this year. And even after which is a little sprints I get home. Um, then I got an extra pair of socks because I got to go from my long socks to my short ones for cheer. Yes, different requirements. Um, 
um, I keep a brush in here, or like I said, I'll keep a scrunchie in here just in case. Right now I have some, I have my <laughs> cheerleading schedule and my paperwork for cheer. That's what I mean. Next practice, which will be next week. So I think you guys will see some of that. And in my inner pocket right here, we have our, um, I forgot the names for these were sec, but we got our pads. This is, um, so, you know, we can dive and throw ourselves to our knees and not get hurt. So, yes. Um, for right now, that's all I have in my bag because, like I said, I don't have cheer today. So, I don't have to pack extra clothes and other stuff. And, again, um, I'll take a bottle with me, a bottle of water, and I will take, um, maybe ice in a cup or something so you guys guys keep self refreshed um we're not allowed to wear rings so i always store my rings in my bag and earrings and stuff like that so see ya at practice and that was was in my bag <laughs> Okay, you guys, I am back from volleyball practice. I am back from volleyball practice. I made myself a little um snack. I saw this on Instagram this morning, and I had some of it. So I was like, let me make it. So it's like the, the crab meat, the fake ones I want to eat, the, the snack ones that you get. And basically, you just roll it in cheese, and like you fry it, and then you dip it in some sauce. I think it's the kimchi mayo people were talking about. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but... This part of the video, I'm gonna. I'm putting myself in the hot seat. So, I got a few. I got a few questions that I was sent. It's a lot. Um, and I had. I came up with like a few of my own. Um, I came up with 14 of my own, but there's a lot here. And there's some pretty good ones. So I think I'm gonna use those instead. I put up a. That thing that you can do on Instagram and people like swipe up and respond. So I start with the first questions. Let's try to get this do this quick. Um, have you ever met someone famous? Yes. I met the girl from um Um Jurassic Park and she was also supposed to be the head um Victoria from Twilight, so um would you like to be famous? Yes, I would. <laughs> um, if you could change one thing that happened, what would it be? Probably some decisions I've made this year. Um, probably would have saved me a lot of the heartache <laughs> now. And probably would have contacted a few people earlier that you know that are really close friends. And probably would have like you know put some people in check in their places and distant myself from a lot of people um have you ever been oh my bad if you could live anywhere where would it be I have no clue but I would really love to go live in Hawaii for a bit which is why I'm trying to go to college there have you ever been in the snow? Yes. Uh, do I have a picture of me in the snow? No, but I think I do have this one picture of this big pile that I almost jumped in. I'm going to just put it right here. Have um, Who would be your ideal partner? My ideal partner would be someone that is just like me, but not me. I want someone that has a higher mentality than me, a higher standard than me, everything higher than me because... When you have people that are higher than you, you tend to learn from them and grow yourself. But at the same time, I don't want him to be cocky and like be all higher power, whatever. Like I want him to also learn from me. I want to be able to grow from him and him grow from me or her grow from me and me grow from her. Um, I want my ideal person is someone that is really, really funny. Like you got to make me laugh, but you also got to be able to understand my mood swings and comfort me 
at the same time um it's a tall person i don't know i like tall people mm. probably because i'm tall myself i'm like five six so um do you still have your childhood teddy bear i do it's actually over there i'm gonna post a picture of it right here i'm gonna take a picture after it afterwards how many pairs of shoes do you have well yesterday i got four i think i have like 12 i'm not sure does high heels count in, in, in that apartment i'm not sure um favorite holiday beach mountain or city favorite holiday probably independence day because that's when my birthday is and i like to see fireworks um beach mountain or city what type of mountains are we talking about because if they're forest type like twilight that's where i'm gonna be at um do you like do you like tv talent shows not really i don't watch them what's your opinion on reality tv shows stupid made up no point of it but it's entertaining do you like scary movies eh it depends have you ever filed a real gun no last film you watched um it was What was it? What was the name of it? I watched Culpa Mia. And then... Yeah, I watched Culpa Mia. If you guys don't know about that, y'all gotta watch that. Um, It's really, really good. Do you like roller coasters? Yes, I'm a, I'm a fanatic of roller coasters. Have you ever cried at a film? Yes. Um, Purple Heart? I cried in that. Um... What do you call your grandparents? Um, I call my grandparents Mama and Papa. It's just their nicks, Mama and Papa. Um, what is your favorite drink? Probably the cookie crumble from Starbucks. And if we're talking about that, then the watermelon Arizona drink. But sometimes I switch with the mango once I get too tired of the watermelon. <laughs> uh what's your favorite subject um subject like what you mean like school if it wasn't school this year my favorite subject was math it was so damn easy for me M like algebra was algebra was easy for me this year it was like the one class that i was really really good at out of all my classes i was good in that subject um are you a dog person or cat person well i have a dog but I'm both, honestly. I love my kittens and I love my dogs. We used to have a kitten, but it passed away, sadly. Who has left the most impact on your life? <laughs> um, probably my ex. Um, do you prefer Titanic or The Notebook? Titanic. I never watched The Notebook, never will. Um, I just... No. <laughs> um, do you have a tattoo? No, I do not. Do you believe in love and first sight? First sight. You could feel connections with a person at first sight. But like, I love, type love that I'll die for you in just at first sight. I don't think so, honey. <laughs> um, what is the top, your, what is at the top of your bucket list? Going to college in Hawaii. I swear to God, I keep, like, I think I already know where I want to go. And that's Hawaii. Like, I really want to go to college and just the beach, the land it's just it feels it feels so relaxing for me and i just I, I i like that i like that it's relaxing calming away from everyone and it's like my little escape get go um getting to good college and graduating this year that's that's on top of my bucket list um what is the last compliment you got i don't remember i think the last compliment i got was from jubilee saying that i looked really good on the dress that i wore for her birthday that was like two and a half weeks ago um what is one item you can't leave home without my phone <laughs> and my earpods i gotta have a pair of headphones because i'd be blasting music to myself and i'd just be on my phone would you would you rather have if any money or on ending love you can have on ending love 
but it might not be the best love. Um, mm, that's tricky. Because love comes with a lot of risk. I guess you guys should be asking me that question in about two years. Let's see. If you have a nickname, what is it? Um, my little sister started calling me Chris a lot recently. Because my cousin, Chris Manley, which we call her Chris. Her, my sister called her calling me Chris. And she hasn't stopped. Um, Jubilee calls me Big Mama. Uh, Naisha calls me Crystal Motherfucking H. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. That those are all the nicknames I got. I guess. Um, I mean, you could add mamas into there. <laughs> um. If you could choose only one, would you rather go to Paris or London? Ooh. Everyone that says they go to Paris is not how they expect Paris to be. Um, I think London. Would you rather live in five bedroom apartment all alone or live in a one bedroom apartment with five kids? I'll, I'd rather live alone. Because if there's one thing I'm not going to do is put my five kids in a one bedroom apartment uh uh I had to go through that. That it's just not it's not happening. I'm not doing that. I had to go through that with my um well it was three kids, me and my stepbrother at the time and my little sister. And I would after like we lost the bunk first we had one bed. So I would rotate between the bed and the couch and then we we had we got bunk beds but then they woke up so they moved out. But then we lost the bunk bed and they came back. I, you see what I'm saying? Like, I won't put my kids in that situation. I'm sorry, no. Would you rather have a live-in message therapist or live-in chef? I'm confused by that, but I'm going to say chef. Um, but I'd probably be a therapist, though. <laughs> um, Pick one, cheat or be cheated on? Cheat. Because when you cheat, you really don't don't give a fuck but if you're getting cheated on your feelings are getting hurt and i'm tired of that so uh yeah i'm gonna be looking selfish and i'm gonna say cheat the perfect job or the perfect relationship the perfect relationship because if i have a perfect relationship i feel like nothing else will fulfill my happiness like that is my happiness that should be one of your main happiness um but at the same time, is it worth sacrificing my dream job? But it is a dream job. It's just a perfect job. And honestly, I don't feel like no job is perfect and no relationship is perfect either. So, I'm going to say perfect relationship for now. Have you ever cheated on an exam? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Do you believe in karma? Oh, yeah. I do. I know a lot of people who look on their little karma. Um... What's your favorite candle scent? I'm going to put a picture right here. It's sitting over there, but I'm not going to get up and get it. <laughs> um, it's, it's from Bath & Body Works, of course. Would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? I mean, am I okay talking British? Is that okay? I don't know. <laughs> uh, American, I guess. Swinging down the road. Tanro? <laughs> I don't know. I think I, look, I think I gotta go with both. Um, would you rather have short hair or long hair? Oh my god, I had long hair. It was up right on the top of my aim. And I cut it short up to my neck. But now it's growing. So it's starting to grow. I want my long hair back. Um, are you a social pathologic? I don't know if I'm reading that right. Social path. Oh, shit. I'm gonna skip that. I'm not sure where she, she spelled that right. The last thing that made you cry. <laughs> My ex. What profession do you hate the most? Profession? Have you done any cosmetic surgery? No. Do you prefer short guys or tall guys? Going back to the 
updated things tall guys proudest moment in high school so far proudest moment in high school so far hmm. proud that i doubled up and i was doing two year worth of school in one year and i still passed grades mm. and i had multiple hundreds throughout the year um we go by marking period one two three and four classes i've had a lot of classes that were 100 so i'm proud of it um and probably that we were <laughs> in gym playing volleyball you're we playing gym volleyball and i accidentally like hit the ball back and it made it into basketball hoop <laughs> wrong direction but it made it into basketball hoop um and probably that got better at, at volleyball because i practice a lot Would you date your best friend? Depends who it is. Which best friend? Would you consider yourself romantic? Um, yeah, two level, two level. I could be a romantic person. I could, like, I want to do sweet things for you, make you happy. I'm, I'm that type of person. I don't really have jealousy and hate towards people sometimes <laughs> what's in my purse i'm not gonna tell you because when i saw this i was like this is a good ass question for me to do a whole video of what was in my school bag because i have a purse and i used it as my school bag and i haven't taken nothing out of it i am not joking when i tell you I have not taken nothing out of it and i've been out of school for like two and a half weeks now it's the, it is, hold up, what's today's date? It's the 21st, no, it's the 22nd, and we got out of school June 1st, and I still haven't touched my bag. Um, now I'm going to come to some questions that I asked, um, that I thought of. Are you single or taken? I am single. Who's your first love? Um, my first love was Jan, and yeah, I'm not gonna get too much into that. Name your exes. <laughs> um, we got Jan, we got Jared, we got Kason, we got. Um, Emily, she was, she was a good, um, we got Leo, and, um, we got another person that I did not mention. <laughs> um, any sneaky links? No. Current grade, uh, current grade, well, technically school's over, so I'm off to the next grade, 12. Um... Current friends. Uh, right now, I literally deleted everyone off my social media. Uh, right now, my only friends are Juju, Adara, uh, Alexia, Jubilee, Naisha, Josh, um, and Leo. You can say, I guess. I don't. Oh, and Robert. I don't really have much friends. I cut everyone because everyone's fake and backstabbing. Um, current hobbies right now. Um, oh, we got Coco and Lillian. I forgot. Current hobbies, I would say my current hobbies right now are volleyball and cheer. Who is your best friend? Well, I have multiple best friends, um, and I love them all for different reasons. One of them is my cousin, I don't consider her my friend, I consider her more like a best friend. Uh, we have Alexia, we have Jubilee. Um, Story of your exes. Story time of your exes. Um, we'll be 18 minutes in and no, we could do that for another video. Yeah, I can pick a name out of all my exes and I'll do story time. How about that? Like, try to see my reaction, see which one was born. I pick one and I'll do one story time. When do you graduate? Are you going to college? Uh, I graduate the year of 2024. Um, and yes, I am going to college. What's your type? <laughs> we already answered this. 
um, with sexuality, I am bisexual. What you look into your significant other. And we already answered this too, so that's the end of this video. That was me putting myself in the hot seat and answering every single question. Um, there was so many that I really understand, so we did skip those. But no mind other, we answer a lot of questions. So y'all can't get no complaints. Y'all can't hear no complaints. Like I answer a lot of questions. Y'all got a lot of tea from me. I put myself in the hot seat. Y'all got some tea. So <laughs> um, thanks, Coco. Everybody, thank Coco. Be like, thanks, Coco, because she spammed my instagram with questions that she i know she wanted to answer to so um yeah that was today's video i hope you watch you enjoyed watching me get ready for volleyball today and also putting myself in the hot seat afterwards and answering all these questions i got <laughs> um thanks for watching see you next tuesday um when is next tuesday let me look in the columns over real quick next tuesday next tuesday is the 27th see you on the 27th when the next video will be posted bye